So now I've been pre-approved because I found out at my first meeting with the Decker team that the first thing step after that was to get my approval done. So I did it. Now what? This is the Decker team and we are so grateful, enthused actually, that we've been able to create for you over 403 free Inside Track episodes where you can get any information on real estate that you want. It could be mortgages. It could be the steps of buying a home. It could be how to build wealth, how to make the most out of your money so that when you're sleeping, it's still making money, making house home and simply whole living. And you get to get it when you need it, where you need it. So you can get it from home, the office, or even on the go. I like that. It's awesome. I know, right? Don't you like that? <laughs> and uh, when we said pre-approval, if your pre-approval is done, my question is, is it really? What is a pre-approval? Does that mean I get financing for sure? I think a lot of people feel that once they've been pre-approved, they're good to go and they can buy whatever house they want within that price range that they've been given. Yeah. And the hard part is it's just step one. That's right. Right? Yeah. And so on this episode, they're going to learn a little bit about pre-approvals, about what things lenders look for, and that in fact, a lender, this is nuts to me. And we're going to nuts soon, so that's kind of fun. That is fun, yes. That's a great place in Ottawa. It's not that we're going nuts, even though sometimes people would tell me that I am nuts. <laughs> we're going to go to this amazing gym. We were there recently, and it was so good, right? It was awesome. I, I wish it was around when my kids were young. It was just so much fun. It was. So I've lost on nuts now. I'm at the the obstacle course having fun and jumping on the that's where i am right now so you'll have to give me a second and come back to you and recognize we're talking about mortgages and the reason nuts came into my head is this can be a really nutty journey not fun like the obstacle course <laughs> but the whole financing thing is so incredibly confusing it is because it you don't get to touch it you don't have control. And if you don't know the criteria that a lender is using, even when you have a pre-approval, they can keep checking right. who you be and your credit and your deposit and your bank accounts until they have given you the money, long after they've said you've got it. Exactly. That's one thing that people don't always understand is if you if you go to a, a bank or a mortgage broker and you get pre-approved and you think you're good to go. Yeah. And then you think, well, my new house is going to need some furniture and the brick has this great sale where I don't have to pay for a year. So let's go with that and get some furniture. Or maybe you need a new car and you go and you finance a car. Well, when your lender checks just before you're ready to get that mortgage and sees that you have a lot of debt that you didn't have before, mm -hmm. that changes things dramatically. And some people find that they're no longer approved for what they thought they were approved for. And then how do they get the house that they already committed to? They fulfilled the conditions and they're ready to go and they're not. It can be a nasty situation. Yeah. So if you're ever wondering or you know somebody that's in the middle of buying a home, have them call us so that we can coach and guide through the process because and even get a copy of our ebook. Yeah, we have an ebook. An ebook that covers a lot of that stuff so that you're not unfortunately surprised because nasty surprises are horrible yes they are. right and pre-approval just to step us back a minute unless you've provided income statements and you've provided your your like your t4s you've provided an employment letter you've provided everything the lender said your bank account statements they've done the credit check a pre-approval Often people think is as soon as you've told me how much money I can afford based on my income, then I'm good. That's just a cursor, like a cursory look. It doesn't actually mean a thing. Right. Like not, it means nada, like a zero. I can see you right through the lens of my eye. Um, it means zero. And so making sure that your pre-approval is in fact a true pre-approval. Right. And then we have to attach the house to it. 
Exactly. Now, the five big things, Leah, yes. I know you teach this to everybody because they're not intuitive. They're not. No. Right? The five things that a lender is looking for and considering when you come to them to get a pre-approval, when you're doing a comprehensive pre-approval, right. proper one, what are they? Well, credit score is a big one. <laughs> so they're, yeah, your they're repayment gonna, history. Exactly. And- they're going to check your credit history and make sure that you pay your bills on time and things like that. So that's that's a pretty significant one. Credit. We'll start with credit. Because right. if your credit's bad, you might get a mortgage, but it may mean at a much, much, much higher interest rate. Right. may mean a private lender. Right? right? So it's not that you can't get a mortgage with bad credit. It's just not as nice. There's not as many options. Right. And believe it or not, sometimes they look at character. Character can be a big thing. I've heard of an instance where a lender had pre-approved somebody, but then they did a Google search on the person that they had pre-approved and found that in the past they had been arrested for drug dealing, um, which they were found innocent for. So that charge was removed, but it's still a black stain, right? So the lender had to think twice and pull back their pre-approval because they were questioning the character right. of the person they so were So character to. matters. So worry about what goes on social media and everything goes on social media today. So just live a clean life and you're good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the message here. Yes. Okay. And then the third C. Well, they want to um, check your income. So that would be... Capital. Capital, Right? Yes. Like what kind of money do you have coming to the table, right? right? Do you have a down payment? Do you have the worthiness and enough money? So do your ratios fit? Right. So the whole capital conversation, right? Exactly. And one of the biggest that people often don't think of is the collateral, right? The house that you're buying. And that's going to have a significant effect on whether or not you're approved as well. So just because you're approved for a certain amount, the, the right. doesn't mean that the bank is going to give you that if they feel that you've overpaid for the house that you've purchased. Right. If they have it appraised and they feel that the value is way off, they're only going to approve you for what they feel it's worth. Or if there's something significantly wrong with the house, I mean, they're, they're, they are going to have a look at, right. at the list. There was a house I wanted to buy when I was really young and first in the market. And I am so grateful that the lender actually did an appraisal and said, we're not lending on that. Right. We would have, the trusses were all bad in the roof. Well, we didn't know that. I think at that point you didn't do building inspections and it wasn't. And now even today, that's an area we have to really talk about because that's for another show. You'll want to go listen to one of those about inspections pre or post, right? right? Cause that's a big conversation as well. And your fifth is capacity. And the capacity really speaks to, can you repay? So when Leah mentioned early on in the show that if you go get a car loan or you go get some furniture, even though you don't have to pay for a year, it just affects your capacity. Right. And capacity is huge. Yes. Right? And so if you think you've been pre-approved and now you know you haven't, Give us a call. If you don't have a great lender or somebody that you absolutely adore, know that we do. And we would love to introduce them to you because we are absolutely passionate about making sure you have the sound information so you can make great decisions and that we actually get to move forward, making sure that you thrive once you get in. Not just setting you up for it, thrive all the way through. Forward with the Decker team.